Right, Kenneth, you're ready. Okay, uh, hi everyone. So, uh, I'm, this is actually my first uh, hackware uh, attendance. Uh, thanks so much, uh, Brian, for inviting me. Uh, Chime for inviting me. And, um, yeah, I, I, I come in with a background of no background. Me to say, I, before I started like, on these kind of stuff uh, a few months ago, I had no experience even like, you know, uh, fixing my computer. Right? My dad did all the stuff for me. So my dad is the guy who fixes stuff in my household. And only recently, uh, when I started working for the One Maker Group uh, in February, uh, some point in the middle of this year, that I really started to get involved in all this kind of stuff. And my first project that I did was inspired by this video on the cupcake. I don't know whether you guys have seen this video on the cupcake. For those who haven't, maybe I'll just play it to entertain all of us. That's famous Raspberry Pi computer and Adafruit Pi TFT display. They've joined forces to play classic 1980s arcade games. Well, take it to the pizza parlor. Take it to the park. It's so incredibly cute, you might just throw up. <sighs> I still suck at these games. Okay, so so this is actually the uh, uh, a thing I found maybe on one of those like Facebook like you know when you see interesting things on Facebook you can click and I was blown away at like how you can actually build something like this uh, so I I did an impulse purchase I bought a kit online from Adafruit and um, I actually procrastinated on it uh, I bought it last year. And I only really started getting back to doing it when I joined the One Maker group because you know you have all the stuff there. So uh, I'm really glad to say that, like for a complete beginner, uh, assembling the kit only takes like five hours, and you can actually get it to work. Ooh. So this is it. Yeah, it, it it works as advertised. So uh, there is no tricks involved, and I don't know how I can let you all see the thing. Uh, so maybe you can just. Give a quick demo now, and then we can all sort of cut around. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's, there's a few stuff I want to demo for you all. So uh, find the table. Yeah. So, so the, the thing about this is that um, there was no programming involved. A lot of people who ask me for you know, I learned coding in a few days. I learned how to code a game into the Raspberry Pi in a few days. No, um, all you have to do is flash an image that Adafruit already makes for you. And you know the games are just transferred onto it by dragging and dropping onto the folder in the SD card. <laughs> so it was really idiot proof and beginner friendly. So yeah, it's very rewarding because when you have this kind of outcome in your mind, uh, it seems more rewarding to do something like this uh, because you, you you relate with what you're building, right? Um, a lot of the causes I see on electronics. Uh, had had boards with elect like flashing LEDs and what, and I couldn't really relate to those. Like I don't see all these components in my day to day life. They look like the really high end stuff. But when you put it in this kind of package, uh, to Adafruit's credit, you can really um, you know be inspired to work towards something that uh, you know you feel you understand, and other people can understand. Because even if you don't understand a board, I think uh, everyone will understand Pac-Man. So. Yeah, so in honor, you can actually play a lot of games on this, but I chose Pac-Man to make it like as relatable. Um, I, 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 I feel that it's testament to how great this product is, because after I built it, like I work in Simplify, and my boss's kids come into the office and they spend time playing with this uh, on their own. So, okay, so it's on. I don't know whether you can see, but I think you can hear it. We play with it. Yeah, so it's actually running. Okay, so I'll plug it up, it's very noisy. Okay, so, so this was the first step. And I was thinking to myself, if you can inspire someone like me with no background to build uh, something like this, ooh, 42 seconds, um, why not take it one step further and make a wooden version? You know, in the process, teach people things like laser cutting and soldering and Add this customizational uh, customization element to such a product. So my, my vision for this is actually I'm trying to figure out you know can we hold a class for absolute beginners to make like arrange all this like clear acrylic, uh, black acrylic, wood painted with like flowers and all that, 
uh, on top of you know uh, programming it with uh, different games or functions, uh, and have more interesting electronics classes uh, for beginners to jump in with. Um, that's really my goal, and I spent an entire month doing things the hard way by. Uh, if you look behind here, there's an interface board which I created from a proto board from scratch. It means I soldered all the connections instead of joining the pins on a breadboard. Uh, so with no background, that took me the board alone took me a week, a month. Uh, creating this, the measurements for this case took another month. It was 16 times of laser cutting that I did at the one makers group. I think Leon, you have seen me struggle with the uh, machine over there, which is something that I really appreciate the one because group to allow me to do because no one else has access to that much free laser cutting. <laughs> so yeah, it's a perks of the job. I, I get paid for it, you know, it's like in other cases, where can you get a giant laser cutter to prototype stuff like this? So thankfully, uh, it works exactly the same as this. And yeah, I, I feel that this two month long struggle to get the wooden one work uh, was worth it because maybe I can get advice from you guys down here, the gurus, on like how can we make something like this uh, accessible to more beginners to learn how to make. So yeah, that's it. I haven't uploaded. I literally just finished the measurements four days ago. So, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, but I will definitely upload this uh, to let people try it out. Yeah. That, that's what the original, sorry, what the original files from Adafruit, uh, did they put it up there? Yeah, like the, the um, and stuff, or did you have to design yourself again? So, so the, the, the image file is uh, downloaded from Adafruit. Right, right. Yeah. But the, 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 the casing? The casing measurements, okay, people asked for it, but they only wanted to know the external visible like casing right. parts. So those were put online, but they were also put on a PDF file with the measurement. So I literally had to just strip the whole thing and measure with a vernier caliper every tap. <laughs> not fun, <Yes>. not fun. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, I, it took quite a while, uh, let's put it that way. <laughs> but it came with the case or without case? It came with the case. Yeah, so the, the kit originally comes with the case and everything except the Raspberry Pi. So, so I, one of the things I'm struggling with making a course for this right is that this right costs 160 Singapore dollars to make, including shipping. So if you hold a course for this, how much is it going to cost? Well, 200 bucks. Will someone pay 200 bucks to make this? Like learn to make this? I don't know. And then, so that's why I'm trying to cost down it by making it with wood and like doing the board with like resistors and what. So yeah, like maybe you can make it cheaper. Like, I don't know. No. Awesome. Uh, so what about we will... Sorry? Copyright. Uh, what do you mean? Copyright. Copyright? No, copyright. I, I, I guess he's asking you it's the original one. It's open source software. No, no, the, the original one. Yeah, why? Original. Does it doesn't have any copyrights. Is it copyrighted, like the design? Probably open. Uh, it's Creative Buy Commons. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I, I honestly didn't check. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something illegal. I don't know. But uh, I, I was just very motivated to see whether I can make a wooden version. Yeah. Uh, knowing Adafruit, or who, do you know who is like actually designed the door? Is it Adafruit? Uh, or is it okay, else? the guy is called Philip Burgess. Okay. So, so uh, maybe I can ask possible. him. <laughs> he should, but I, I would think it's probably going to be <laughs> yeah, it's Adafruit, right? Or, so yeah, yeah they, are, they, are, they are very pro open source and yeah. That's a relief. Yeah, uh, this guy is incredible. He makes all this kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, if you if you, if you message him and send you send him your design, he'll probably like. Yeah. Give you extra tips on how to Yeah, hopefully, it. hopefully. Yeah. I mean, the the goal of this is just to make a more interesting lesson. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. What, what about the, uh, building a bigger one with a you know like a I get a lot of requests like that. Um I was thinking can I start a company making <laughs> big ones? Then someone actually in Maker Fair actually already does yeah, that. Yeah, there was a company in Maker Fair. Yeah, I was a bit disheartened, I was like, oh <laughs> someone's doing it, but it's fine. That good somebody has done. So I have done it, but, but, but his one is different because his has, you have to put your laptop inside or your PS4 inside and then you play your game on that. So I have to be able to afford a PS4 and a laptop. <laughs> so for my, my argument is that, I mean, I'm not trying to compete in terms of product. I'm just trying to compete in terms of what can we teach people to make. And I think making something tiny and cute and affordable like this is much better. Like. Maybe if you can pay more. <laughs> there are, okay, in the US there's this company called Nano Arcade where they make a lot of very funky decal like these kind of things but 
I'm not too worried about that because like I said, I'm here to try to teach people how to make this more than to sell this product. Uh, so yeah. in Singapore where they still have the big, the real one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, fair. Where? Where? Uh, like, okay. Suntech. <laughs> 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 okay, that'll be unbranded. Yeah. 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 So, uh, are there still enough GPL to maybe uh, put in another set of joystick and Another set of joystick? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, yeah, a good question. I have no clue. <laughs> I am really honestly... Okay, so the drawback of making something like this, right, is that you can go through all the steps without having truly learned a single thing about electronics. Like, I still don't understand exactly how the Raspberry Pi works, to be honest. I only know how to upload an image file onto it, and that's it. So that's a drawback. Yeah. No, and it reminds me of another drawback. It runs on the Raspberry Pi Model B. So, uh, if I want to keep making more, <coughs> I have to probably eventually configure to Pi 2, mm -hmm. for instance. And I have no clue what's the implications of that. Should yeah. it be sure? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> the image file is probably not. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. You might have to change the interface for I might, uh, yeah. Actually, that, that shouldn't matter. What should matter is uh, the connector might be different. Because right. it's slightly, the connector has moved, the, some of the pins have moved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it? No, no, it's extended, it's just 36 to 40. Oh, yeah, the new one. Oh, it's going to stay. Yeah, even the original. Yeah, okay, that's cool. I think in the gym, my proper screen would be better. Hmm? Alright, um, we will definitely play with the FPGAs and the uh, little. Um, Pico Arcades. <laughs> so, yeah. the next time we make a project is uh, FPGA Pac Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's an awesome idea. That's what we want to talk about. I've got the screen from the Chief Mac. Now I want to show you. No, it's FPGA Pac Man. We yeah. already have a building in our workshop attending. So, uh, the last segment, uh, we will very quickly go through uh, the hiring.